Hi, welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and today I want to be talking about a good investment opportunity. Now, you may be having a look at these lists of cryptocurrencies here and seeing in the last seven days, most of these are in the green, have made significant gains. And today I'm going to be talking about Polkadot. Now, you may be thinking, well, why is Cal suggesting Polkadot as an investment? where it's made a loss in the last seven days, whereas others have made uh, a profit. Now, I just want to kind of show you something here where I think Polkadot at the moment is just taking a bit of a consolidation. So if you have a look at the last three months in terms of the value here, what we'll see is from, from December the 27th, when it was around about $5, until only a week later, it had doubled in value. So it it jumped up pretty quickly in value. And if we have a look at something like Ethereum in comparison, what we'll see there is it's been going up. And to go from that sort of 600 to the 1200 value, it generally took around about two weeks. So with Polkadot, it's gone up pretty quickly, and I think it's consolidated at the moment, and there'll be more gains to be had. And I'll go into the reasons as to why. And what I also want to do is talk about not only the pros of investing within Polkadot, but also the cons. By that I mean, so you have a balanced view of Polkadot. So what are its drawbacks, any competitors, uh, and so that you can have a balanced view when investing. And the reason why I want to do that is because a lot of articles, YouTubers out there generally just say you should invest into this cryptocurrency and tell you a bit about it. And they say, well, this one's going to be the top pick for this month or this one's going to the moon. And in the last bull run back at the end of 2017, I myself was watching some of these videos, reading some of these articles. And what I found is some of these individuals who were promoting these cryptocurrencies were sometimes paid by them. Now, there were individuals out there who believed in the project or who accepted the advertisement payment because they believed in in the the project. However, there were a lot of individuals out there who were just pushing it. And for all we know, there can be some who be doing that now as well. So what I want to do is not just give you, you know, here's a project and I think it's going to be great, but then also here are the reasons as to why I suggest you always do your own research as well. But then also tell you, you know, this is the reason why it's at the moment, it's it's it might be struggling too as well. So if we get started with what it actually is at the moment, we can see it's sitting at $9. So Polkadot is a chain which is really pushing interoperability. And that is that it facilitates the operations between more than one blockchain, so independent blockchains. And here we can see in this articles, in this article, sorry, that they're talking about that it could even be the Ethereum killer. Now, I know some articles really push that sort of well once this comes to to fruition and it's working it may end up you know being the ether killer and now i don't think that's going to be the case uh ethereum is doing some great work as well but i just really want to concentrate more so on polka dot so in in most instances the the current environment is within the same uh well the the blockchain it doesn't allow the individual to create, for example, smart contracts with other independent blockchains, whereas Polkadot is working, so you can do that. Now, I'm on the Polkadot network website here, and it talks about the, the many sort of benefits that it has, uh, but I, I do want to kind of talk about the interoperability first, and then also the forkless and future-proof environment as well. And And the reason why that is as well is because well, you've probably seen where blockchains do fork, it can cause some disruption. But the reason why it needs to fork is sometimes not only people have different visions, but sometimes 
it isn't able to do so without forking it can't make the the necessary changes or the upgrades that it needs to i think some of these other benefits here are quite standard but the ones that i'm kind of pointing out are the ones that are uh, i think are the real game changers so here we have an article and, and this is from from last month and it's talking about how moonbeam is uh walk, working on the polka dot uh chain with some smart contracts and what it's doing is it's integrating chain link as well and here in, in the in the first paragraph i think the key thing here is all without leaving the polka dot ecosystem so it's able to integrate Chainlink, which is an independent chain, with into the functionality of Moonbeam, which are creating uh, smart contracts, and it's doing it all within Polkadot's ecosystem. So that is a very powerful thing that it's doing, and it's one of the many, many benefits. Uh, one of the other sort of pros of Polkadot as well, where it's compared to Ethereum, not only in the smart contract uh, ecosystem, but also to do with sharding. Now, sharding is pretty much a chain within a chain. It splits the infrastructure into smaller pieces with the goal of scaling the platform. So that is something that Polkadot is doing as well. And again, where it's made a comparison with Ethereum, and that's also one of the reasons why people talk about why it could be the, the Ethereum killer. Um, I've, I've got an article here where it's talking about never fork again and a, a, again it's it's a it's a positive it's a reason as to why polka dot is stronger too and it's uh, dissimilar to uh, a lot of the other chains that we see out there so you can see as to why here, here are all the sort of the good things about polka dot now i just want to give you a more of a balanced view too um, here are all the platforms that look at smart contracts now that that are smart contract platforms and as you can see there are many ethereum cardano and, and and many more as you can see here in the list now these are indirectly competitors of polka dot and the reason why i say in indirectly is because obviously uh, the way polka dot is working with its environment is allowing the smart contract platforms to work within its environment but nevertheless it's still looking to be, operate within the smart contract environment so something to consider there um, two other chains that are working on interoperability are Wanchain and cosmos so i've just looked a bit more into them so we have Wanchain here and it's talking about what it does similarly cosmos as well now you've probably seen cosmos it's uh i think it might be in the top 25 or so of the uh, the current uh cryptocurrencies by market capitalization when chain isn't even the top 100 but just reading a bit more as to their progression and what they're doing polka dot is far more advanced um, and they've certainly got a a, a, a better community i believe behind them too so as you can see yes there are competitors yes there are uh you know people who are trying to fight in that same sort of space as well but i believe polka dot is the one that is standing out in in uh, those areas as well which is why i think it would be a good investment and i just want to kind of show you this as well the the big things that are coming to polka dot not only are they uh, progressing with these great features too they do have these uh as we say here the projects big projects on uh coming to polka dot as well we've got frontier uh the moonbeam project as well which i spoke about just uh, a few minutes ago and if you go to an article you can see that they are really facilitating in the same way that ethereum did as well they're really facilitating for these projects to be able to build upon them and work with other chains. Uh, and, and just lastly here as well, Polkadot is is doing a rebranding as well, which is always quite exciting for uh, any company really. But I do believe 
it's, it's, it reflects what they're doing, that they're growing, they're working with more companies. They were under the same brand that they were when they started last year in May. And now they want to rebrand to, to, to reflect where they are positioned. And, and I think, you know, being eighth for, for such a new company is fantastic, uh, especially considering all of these ones up here and they will continue to climb. So have a look at the price they are now at $9.00. I, I think it's very reasonable to to assume that they will double, triple in value. I mean, just having a look at the market cap, they're at 8 billion at the moment. Someone like Ethereum, which obviously has been around for a much longer, is 141. And, and even Ethereum, I think, has much more room to climb as well. So I think comparatively, Polkadot has a lot more potential, I should say, because Ethereum, yes, it's much further ahead in terms of progress. It's a much older company, cryptocurrency. However, Polkadot is uh, is one where I think a lot more progression will be had. Don't let the minus 7% put you off. Again, do your own research too. You know, The more that you know about these uh, cryptocurrencies, the better position you'll be in. I do believe uh, not knowing enough will just kind of lead you to to, to panic sell and, and that happened I think in the last bull run too where people don't really understand what they're investing in and they're, they're investing just for the, the the pump and and the profits that when it came down to companies uh, sorry cryptocurrencies dipping uh, in value and and the price going down people didn't really understand as to why they should remain invested in it why they should continue to hold that cryptocurrency and they sold. Uh, it uh, it would be the equivalent of buying uh, a Tesla stock and saying, why are you buying it? Well, it's going up in price and it's great. Well, what does Tesla do? I think it's kind of in cars and not really knowing anything more than that, not really understanding the electric vehicle market and what it holds in the future and uh, also being uh, driverless too. And then when the price goes down, for whatever reason, jumping ship and saying oh no it's going down and i need to sell and not really grasping the fact that it's still doing those things that are going to change the future it's still going to going to be so innovative that in the future we're going to look back and say well you know once upon a time we did drive cars and now they drive themselves and once upon a time we put petrol and diesel into it and now you know they are electric so similar sort of things with these cryptocurrencies it, the more you understand as to why you're invested into it and what they're doing and keep up to date with the news of the company, the better position you'll be in for the long term and continue to invest and uh, to, to, to make more on your investment as well in terms of returns. So I hope you found that useful. I hope uh, you, you do consider Polkadot and uh, again, do your own research. This is never really financial advice. Well, it, it isn't financial advice. It's uh, just to kind of give you more of an insight uh, and to better serve the community too. Like I said, there are people out there who get paid to just pitch a lot of different cryptocurrencies without giving you a good balanced view. Uh, and, and I think that's not fair on the cryptocurrency community. So I'm just trying to do my bit and trying to give you as much information as possible. Uh, if you enjoyed that, please do subscribe. Please give me a like. I, I'll be doing more of these videos too. If there are specific cryptocurrencies that you do want me to give you more pros and cons and information and views and news about too, uh, do let me know. I do try to kind of squeeze as much in as possible. Uh, so uh, yeah, leave that in the comments below or, or any other of your wonderful comments too. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's been Crypto Crazy and I've been Cal.